Palorax, Roly Coley, Unguru, Whale Lord, Nido King, Crown Tundra. Let's play. What's the challenge and challenge? Lancer and Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Crown Tundra Let's Play. In the last episode, we caught Reggie Alecki. And we also uh, went to Pione and finished off Chapter 2 of the Crown Tundra. Today, we are starting Chapter 3. Heading towards the big red tree so you join me back at reggie uh, at reggie rock's temple here in the giant uh, on the giant's foot and today we are going towards uh running into a neat a uh, wild neat around female <laughs> i need to start my timer <laughs> At least that reminded me to start my timer. We're going to head towards the big red tree today. So what we need to do is we need to head towards the lake. And not run into Barboach. As much as I love to see Barboach again, you know, flippers and everything. Oh yeah, Jane, everyone in my team is level 90 at this moment in time. I decided to give myself a little more EXP candy, getting everyone up to level. James has been getting a lot of experience, so... In a way, James got the least amount of EXP candy, because, you know, James was already level 88 before doing this. It's probably this is going to be the last leveling I do for this series. Because I don't want to kill... Uh, the thing is, I'm in the bit where I need to catch legendaries. But I don't want to kill legendaries. I don't want to one-shot them. And I'm a little scared that I'm going to do that. Even with my most, uh, my least super effective moves. If I keep on leveling my mons. But I also have land... Uh, I should mention... I also have Criminal joining the team. Criminal was part of uh, my team uh, from the Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, and I wanted to bring him. I wanted to bring back because Criminal has Thunder Wave. So yeah, I want that Thunder Wave is going to be great uh, for dealing with uh, things that. You know, maybe James can't put to sleep or would be better to paralyze than put to sleep. This is the Balmia Sea area. This is where you'll find a lot of footprints to do with Terrakion. So if you're looking for Terrakion footprints, this is a great place to do it. Also, the Lakeside Cave is also another great place to look for Terrakion footprints. So if you're looking for Terrakion footprints, there's there are places around the place that will give you Terrakion footprints. Also, you can find wild tyrants and tyrantrums are around here too, if you know where to look. Like there are so many good fossil po it's like you never need to actually have fossils. Because all the fossil Pokemon that are from previous generations are actually all around the um, the wild area, if uh, the new wild area of the Crown Tundra, if you know where to look. Now, because I've seen Kabutops, I've seen Omastar and Omanite. I've seen uh, Aerodactyl around here uh, in places in the Crown Tundra. I've, s uh, you know, I've seen Tyrant, and uh, around the cold place, you'll see uh, the other one. You know, the Ice Dragon type. So it's not like they're not around. That island there, in the middle, if you look over the yonder, is where you need to go to go and get uh, Keldia. We'll do 
a special episode with that very, very soon because I have all the footprints necessary to deal with. See, there's a wild tarantrum. Yeah, I have all the footprints necessary to deal with uh, Keldia. Well, not with Keldia, but with the Swords of Justice. I have all the footprints ready to go and deal with them. All I need to do is go and talk to Sonia. So, we'll do that. In time, we will go and talk to Sonia and go and deal with the Swords of Justice and go and find out where the hell they are and catch them. It's not part of the main story here in the Crown Tundra, but it is a thing you can do. So, we might as well do it as part of the LP. It's not like... Uh, we'll do all the main storyline events, but, like, we'll also deal with other stuff, too. Oh, I don't... Do I not... I do not need. I thought I might need to go and get on the boat, but no, I think I'm fine to go to Dinah Tree Hill. Zapdos, Moltres was just enjoying some nice fruit. You didn't have to go and do that. I hate when people do that. It's like, you're eating my fruit. Get away from here. And then here comes Articuno. Oh, and now they notice me because my phone's going. <laughs> Oi, oi, it's me, Peone. Listen, I want you to, I wanted to ask you something. Hang on there, Chief. There's some breaking news on the telly. They're saying about some dodgy bird, uh, doggy, uh, some dog, dodgy bird Pokemon. They're popping up left and right. There are plenty of feathered ones that are in the wild area. Plus a fiery one on the Isle of Armour. And a fancy graceful one flying in the Crown Tundra. Wouldn't uh, it be something if it turned out to be those bird Pokemon I wrote about? Hmm. If that were the case, I wonder if we'd call the expansion something like... A legendary tree of the legendary free. Now, I've gone uh, and ultra mega completely forgot what I called you for in the first place. Well, life's too short to sweat the small stuff. Ta, chief. You jotted down the current status on Legendary Crew number 3. When sun approaches the zenith, it shines directly down on a great tree that leaves... Uh, that seems to burn. There is... It is there where Legendary Wings came to roost. A bird of orange dashed off into the wild area. A bird of black flew through the Isle of Armour. And a purple bird set off across the Crown Tundra. Right. 
Now there is a big, uh, there is a big Dynamax battle with this tree, but we'll deal with that later. Today, uh, let's go and deal with Articuno. Now to get to Articuno, he hangs around the Crown Tundra. Around the snowy areas of the Crown Tundra, to be precise. So, that is where we are going to deal with him. Now, you can go and get marks if that is what you want to do. I'm not really personally interested in those things, but if you want to do them, you can do them. So, if you want... It is possible to get marks. It is not. These are shiny locked. So you cannot get them. Sh so you can't shiny chain them. Uh, but you can mark. You can get marks. They will respond to the mark charm and stuff like that. So if you're interested in marks. That's a cool thing. To me it's just like a nickname. It's just an aesthetic. It doesn't really mean anything. So I'm not really interested in those kind of things. But it's totally okay if you guys are. Just, just, it's just not for me, but that's, uh, but I've never been one of those people who liked all those fancy things. I'm not a really a person who likes the fancy things. That's all it is. Is he around here? Like, can I f maybe fly to the Crown Shrine and see if he's around there, maybe? I hear him. It's just a question of whether I can get him to spawn. There's a lot of frost moth. Like a real lot of frost moth today. But no Articuno. Because the annoying thing about this is you've got to get them to be able to... You've got to get them to spawn in. To uh, where you want them to be. Because they'll... Like, there's a hundred... There's loads of different Pokemon all over the place. And it just has a percentage of the fact that it will spawn. You know, it has a percentage that it will spawn. And I don't know where to go to make it, like, 100% spawn. I know... I only know a few little things about these... Uh... Really? All that for a revive... I only know a few little things about these things. Is that an effing? Seriously, I've never been through these places. I think it's cool I can see wild Solomons about that. I really do. You know, it's it was so rare to get a bag on an emerald to find wild Solomons.
can't see him anywhere. When you fly in, you hear him. But other than that, you know what? I'm going to load up my guide. I don't care if there's a new update for Microsoft Edge. No one does. But Microsoft Edge sucks. Right, so... So flying resets the route. Use the bike to... Okay, so maybe flying is a bad option, maybe I'm. Come on, Articuno, spawn. Out of all the Pokemon, I want you to... Out of all the Pokemon in this beautiful wild area, I want you to spawn as I run into a Nido King. This episode is probably going to be just me trying to hunt them down. Although I am considering trying to make like cuts and see if I can find it. You see there's an Aerodactyl. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to make a cut. I'm going to try and find this thing. And then we'll see if we can catch it in time for the episode. So I'll make a cut. I'll be back in a couple minutes. I got him. I got him. I, I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. But I'm, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got him. Articuno, level 70. I am level 90. I am not sure I'm going to be ready for this fight, but... Let's do it. Full swipe. Go. Psycho shift. Okay. I mean, that's the Oxus's move. It barely hits. I barely... I can't even remember what it, how it does because it keeps... It misses so much. Okay, Psychic Cut. I'm beefy enough to live that. I don't want to get hit by its new move, though. Because that will hurt. I do have lefties on James. Uh, to get some extra recovery back. I did go and get some lefty. I did go and get lefties off. I think it was like my Rotom... Uh, off a of red and wash of I had in the PC. By the way, I love this music.
I can handle these hits. All I gotta do is get you down into the red, down to 1 HP, keep on spamming full swipe and hope for the best. One more. One more. And then it's sleep powder time. Okay, that's one HP. It's sleep powder time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, come on. By the way, if you kill it, you just need to follow the routes. It will respawn. There's, there's no need to worry about if you kill it. It will respawn. You just need to fly back to the lower end of the seaside of the uh, of the snow of the seaside slope, uh, the snowside slopes, and basically follow the path up to the end where the Reggie Temp uh, uh, bit where the, both the Reggie Temple. Oh my God! I caught it first ball. I never get those odds with uh, with the legendary birds. First ball, I love it. Robin goes to level ninety one, but I love that first ball. Galen Articuno. It feather like its feather like blades are comprised of psychic energy and the sheer. Uh, for uh, the sheer through thick uh, iron sheets as if they were pa and can shear through thick iron sheets as if they were paper cool I mean I have a nickname for this And he very much seems like it. So I'm going to say it. I'm going to call this thing Nightwing. After, you know, the Batman Robin comics. You know, what Robin grows up into. Uh, when he's uh, when he's fully grown up. You know, he becomes Nightwing. There you go. Nightwing. I think that's a really cool name for it, actually. You caught one of the birds. You caught Articuno, one of the birds. It's from the clue. You jotted down your status on current on the uh, a legendary clue number three. Articuno was caught in the Crown Tundra. That's what the new information says. Beep, beep, beep. Oi, oi, it's me, Peone. How's the expedition going? Come again? You found the legendary Pokemon Articuno? Ha. Huh. That's really something. Now go and track down the other birds. I will do. But we'll do that in the next episode of our Pokemon Sword Crown Tundra Let's Play. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Me and the Pokemon get to last. Uh, everybody get Pokemon. Ooga! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first 
when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me, Joe, and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you're a fan of this sort of thing, then you might like Power Zone Metal, a radio show presented by me and my brother Dan, aka the Gentleman of Metal. You can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.